Crystalline silica, or quartz, is a naturally occurring mineral found in most construction materials, including concrete, bricks, and sandstone. When you cut these materials, they can generate very fine crystalline silica dust that's small enough to breathe into your lungs. Over time, exposure to silica dust can lead to serious lung disease or death. However, exposure to silica dust can be minimized if you use the right tools and the right personal protective equipment. Water or on-tool dust capture are two common ways to minimize exposure to silica dust. This video is about on-tool dust capture. Follow these four steps to minimize exposure to silica dust when cutting. Make sure you work in well-ventilated areas, such as outdoors and away from other workers, where possible. Always use on-tool dust capture devices. Plan work tasks, having clear written rules and policies, and always maintain your equipment. Always wear a correctly fitted respirator. Dry cutting with fitted on-tool dust capture devices connected to M or H-class vacuum cleaners help prevent dust escaping into the air. Before you start cutting, follow this three-point check. Make sure you have selected the right blade for the material you're cutting. You have it on the right way and that it's fastened correctly. Make sure the hose is securely fitted to the on-tool dust capture device and to the vacuum. Make sure there are no leaks or holes in the hose. Make sure the filter in the vacuum cleaner is in good condition and there's a collection bag in it so dust can be safely disposed of when it's full. If your vacuum cleaner is beeping, either the filter is clogged or the collection bag is full. If dust is coming out of your vacuum cleaner during cutting, it's time to check the condition of the filter and replace it if necessary. When it comes to emptying the vacuum cleaner, wear a mask. Remove the vacuum cleaner head and either cap the bag or tie it off before disposing of it in the rubbish skip. Everyone has a right and obligation to stop work if they feel it is unsafe. Speak up if someone is not using safe work procedures. It might just save their life or yours.